our official for this evening are Dave Clifton. Welcome inside Chippewa Valley High School, home of the Big Reds, as they get set to take on the Port Huron Red Hawks. Mac Blue Volleyball tonight here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. I'm Brad Fetters, high atop the gymnasium, getting you set for tonight's matchup. These two teams, red hot Chippewa Valley. Winners of four in a row. The Port Huron Red Hawks, winners of Five. Port Huron in first place in the MAC Blue with a perfect 7 0 record. Chippewa Valley trails them in the standings. Two games back at 5 and 2. Big Reds need a win here tonight if they want to keep their MAC Blue title hopes alive. Port Huron can win at least a share of the MAC Blue title with a victory here on the road. Rally scoring up to 25, five sets. The Liberos tonight, first for Chippewa Valley, it'll be senior captain, Brianna Genord. And for the Port Huron Red Hawks, it will be number two wearing the white Libero jersey, Bryn Mullins, a sophomore captain for head coach, Derek Arena. Chippewa Valley, coached by Chris Hull, nearly set to go. The two teams have taken the floor. Chippewa Valley in their home black jerseys. Port Huron in their road reds with white numerals. It'll be Addison Murdoch to start things off with the serve. Chippewa Valley on the receiving end, and they score the very first point of the night. Early one, nothing lead for Chippewa Valley. Regan Leslie with the serve. Too long, too strong, two nothing, Chippewa Valley. Leslie getting the ball right back with this serve. Eighty-eight and a half percent on the service completions. Forty-seven aces to go along with thirty-three service errors on the season. Double hit called. Roche Scott the guilty party gives a point over the Red Hawks. Their first point of the night. They trail two to one. Very first set of the night. So glad you decided to tune us in here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. Jordan Fiedler, the senior setter, with the serve. Passes it to the near side, kept alive by Chippewa Valley. They go over on two. Sprawling effort made by Addison Murdoch. But the point goes to the Big Reds. Delaney Doherty. Doherty sent it deep enough to catch Port Huron off guard. Cameron McDonald, terrific senior, in there to serve, dug up along that end line. Reagan Leslie with the dig. And the point to Chippewa Valley, last touch by Port Huron. These two teams have hooked up already once this season. Chippewa Valley, the only opponent in the Mac Blue to take Port Huron to five sets. Chippewa Valley did have a lead in that game back on September 14th, but ultimately it went to Port Huron by the final score 25-21, 22-25, 22-25, 25-23, 18-16. So Port Huron is Run through the Mac Blue undefeated. As I mentioned, Chippewa Valley, the only team to take them to five sets. So we should be in store for a heck of a matchup here tonight. Ileana Williams, the middle hitter, to fire away here on the serve. Received by Caitlin Reed. Kept alive by Scott. And not over the net. So back to back points for the Red Hawks. Their 
Received this time by Leslie. Sent to the outside. Dug up by Williams. And an attack error by Huller. Emma Dunn, the senior, into the game now. Replaces Caitlin Reed. Dunn, a senior, in for Reed, the junior. Chris Hull, head coach to Chippewa Valley in his fifth season at the helm of the Big Reds. Near side attack. Oh, it spun off a blocker and down. Huller with the point, 5-4. Chippewa Valley in front. Lawton to serve things away now for Port Huron. Sent to this near side. Scott over the net. Mullins calls for it. Flat-footed attack. Doherty to the near side and Scott. Scott sends it over, dug up. Another flat-footed attempt. Hammett And out the call. Chippewa Valley with the point. Megan Pickett into the game now. She replaces Rache Scott. So it'll be Leslie Doherty. And Leah Creech along the front line now for Chippewa Valley as that shot sails wide. Coach Hull having a conversation with Rache Scott. Mullins to the front line, overhead shot. Doherty goes to the middle. Mullins again to the outside. Camadot there. Blocked. And in. Didn't matter, it was the last touch by Port Huron anyway. Chippewa Valley has doubled up. Port Huron 8-4. Low line driving, ace. Megan Pickett. 15th ace of the season for Pickett. Terrific start here for Chippewa Valley on their home floor. Pickett sends it long. Big attack. Whoa, boy, Sienna Dennis, the freshman. Isabel Trombley, senior to serve. Just freshly into the game. Line driving serve, received along the end line by Emma Dunn. Dug up by Mullins, sent forward, slashed down. And it's Sienna Dennis again. Back to back points for Dennis along that front line. Received by Dunn, they're gonna have to shovel this one over. Free ball now for the big Red Hawks. And the kill. Port Huron has inched their way back. Within striking distance now, just trailing nine to seven. Isabel Trombley will continue to serve. It's a big knee brace on her right knee. Slams it over, received again by Dunn. Little short serve, short set rather, and pushed across. Yeah. Leah Creech with the point, gets subbed out immediately. Cameron McDonald, a terrific outside hitter, comes in. It'll be Brianna Genord to serve. Chinord, Doherty over on two. Couldn't quite catch Port here on off guard, but still able to pick up the point. Doherty is fabulous at that, just because she is the setter. Racks up all those assists, and occasionally he'll send it over on two. Catches the defense napping. McDonald this time with the save. Gonna go to the middle. 
And boy, oh boy, Sienna Dennis has been fabulous since entering this game. She'll come out. Eliana Williams replaces her. Well, I don't know. That seems like taking out the hot hand right now, Sienna Dennis. Doherty comes to the near side with it. Lawton. Another try by Leslie. Free ball now for the Big Reds. Doherty. Short set to McDonald. Look out below. Reed comes in, replaces Dunn. Doherty to serve, spins it once in her right hand. Blocked up front. Outside hit by Leslie. Leslie will try it again and sends it too long. Mentioned Port here on off to that perfect 7 0 start. Mac Blue play, Lakeview and Chippewa Valley. Their closest competition right now at 5 2. Doherty, McDonald. Oh, she skies above the rest. Cameron McDonald, such a weapon offensively. 166 kills on the season, heading into play tonight. Port Huron just sticking around. They're staying within striking distance. They trail 13-10. Jordan Fiedler to serve. Quite a bit of energy in the building tonight. Janora receives, and net violation. Net violation against Chippewa Valley. The initial call was the opposite, but that was clearly against Chippewa Valley. So 13-11, Big Red still in front. Fiedler. Pushed across now as the Red Hawks have brought in some size. Brylin Balin has come in. She wears 15 in red. Cameron McDonald. Shoveled across, Doherty goes down to two knees to make the save. A little soft serve across. Flat-footed attack there by Huller. Doherty on two again! Finds a weak spot in the defense. Terrific court vision. Madalini Doherty, she doesn't get a lot of kills just simply because she's the setter. Kind of put things in perspective. She has 53 kills on the season. 444 assists coming into play tonight. This is going to be a tough play here for the Red Hawks. They're able to get it over. Nice play by Murdoch. Free ball now for the Big Reds. Scott tried to go near side, tried to tuck it in. Couldn't. Sent over the sideline and out. Throughout this first set, Port Huron stayed within three. It's about the largest the lead swelled up to tonight. Scott again. Dunn back in, replaces Reed.
Terrific dig by Leslie. Scott. Rache Scott getting a lot of play at the outside hitter position. Chloe Milliton in. Will serve. High arcing serve. Scott again. And that time Scott might have been out of position a little bit. Doherty led her a little bit too close to the net. Scott, rather than going on a full blown attack, kind of had to lay up and just make sure she got it over the net, instead pushed it out of bounds. Doherty a much better set this time. The result's a point. Leah Creech. Lead back up to three. That's kind of been the story of this first set. Credit to both coaching staffs, Chris Hull and Derek Arena. Neither have called a timeout. They've kind of just let this first set play out. Terrific serve and an ace. Megan Pickett. Pickett getting 86% of her serves over. And sent out. And Red Hawks thought that ball was tipped. Oh boy. The line judge on the far side saying it's in. And now they're gonna say the ball was tipped by Chippewa Valley. Clearly out. Port Huron student section is made to drive down I-94. Jersey night must be the theme. As we got ourselves a Red Hawk ace. Eighteen seventeen Chippewa Valley in front. Big Red Faithful trying to make some noise to match the intensity. And another ace. Back to back aces for the Red Hawks. 18 18 our score. Port Huron has come storming back. Trombley, the server. And double hit. And now Chippewa Valley and Chris Hall wants a timeout. Important timeout to try to squash the momentum here of the Red Hawks. Those back-to-back -back aces and this latest point has given Port Huron the one point advantage 60 second timeout we'll keep it locked here on Chippewa Valley cable television Chippewa Valley's last contest was a five set win over Lakeview it drew them into a second place tie with the Huskies that was a road contest for Chippewa Valley and and ultimately kept their Mac Blue title hopes alive. A loss against Lakeview or a loss here tonight against Port Huron would drop them out of title contention. Port Huron clearly in the driver's seat. That's perfect 7-0 record. The best Lakeview or Chippewa Valley could do is 8-2, so a win here Tonight for Port Huron would clinch at least a share of the Mac Blue title and set up a huge all important winner take all perhaps matchup with Lakeview. Oh boy, what a play. Reagan Leslie had to make sure she tiptoed the line 
and did just that. Made sure her toes didn't go across. And the result's the point. Janord sends it on its way. Oh, a little touch shot. Janord calls for it, swings the left hand. Over on two. One-handed save made by Dunn. Outside hit, cross-court shot. Set there by Fiedler, blocked up front by the Big Reds. Doherty now shovels it over. Outside attack, blocked, Dunn. Up ahead to Doherty, big swing there, the right hand by Leslie, kept alive. Good rally now as we go back and forth. Doherty, McDonald, gotta send it across. Free ball now for the Big Reds. Doherty to the back line, Janord to the near side. Oh, swing air there by Creech. Check that, that was Leslie, not Creech, I apologize. And a block out of bounds. That attack had some velocity on it. 2020. Fist it over, Doherty to McDonald. Look out below. That was a fastball. Nothing Trombley could do about it. Big Reds back out in front. Doherty, the senior captain with the serve. Probably the player who you want the ball in the hands of. With the jump serve to the back row, Trombley will receive. Big block up front, couldn't keep it in play, however. Reed and McDonald combined, but sent out of bounds. 21 up. It'll be Addison Murdoch. And an ace. We figure these two teams would play a compelling five-set match here tonight. Doherty, far side, yes sir. <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> Rache Scott on the floor in the outside hitter's position. Joins that talented duo of Caitlin Reed and Cameron McDonald up front. Janord and Doherty along the back line. And a block! Cameron McDonald. 166 kills on the season. Oh, by the way, 12 blocks to lead the team. This isn't a Chippewa Valley team that blocks a lot of shots, just 41 on the season, but a big one there for McDonald. Pushed across, kept alive by Chippewa Valley. McDonald coolly and calmly sends it over. And the attack, a little spinner there by Huller. 23-23, half to win by two. Fiedler. Too much steam on that shot. Set point for the Red Hawks. McDonald. Twenty four all. Let's 
Sent deep. Received by Murdick. Huller touched it. Point to the Big Reds. No, they're going to say line violation. And the Big Red faithful disagree with that call. Now the down officials are going to come and talk to the up official. Volleyball, unique situation where the players have to speak to the officials. They can get directions from their coaches, but captains are the ones that do talk to the officials. And we're going to redo that point. It's a redo of the point, 24-24. I guess that's about as good as you could ask for in that circumstance. Want to make sure you get it right. It's so such an important part of this set. Color ran out of room. And now all of a sudden it's set point for the Big Reds. McDonald sends it on its way. This is going to be a tough play for the Red Hawks. It'll be a free ball at the very least for Chippewa Valley. Doherty, Scott, another tough play. And the Big Reds take the first set, 26-24. Set number one to Chippewa Valley by the final score, 26-24. We'll take a quick break here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. We'll be right back with set number two. Parents, many teens today mistakenly believe that vaping decreases anxiety and calms them down. Vaping nicotine or THC marijuana can actually increase feelings of anxiety and depression. Vaping can become addictive. Talk with your child or teen about the dangers of vaping. If you don't talk with them, who will? Welcome back to the Valley. Brad Fetters for Chippewa Valley Cable Television. What a first set. Big Reds led throughout. Watch the Red Hawks come back. Red Hawks took a lead, had the set point within reach. Chippewa Valley able to answer right back, and they eventually take it 26 24. Free ball now for the Big Reds. Doherty sends it to this near side for Leslie. Huller rejected, but a violation against Doherty. I think they got Doherty there. Jordan Fiedler, senior captain. Doherty sends it over on two. Played there by Williams with one hand. And a double hit called against Chippewa Valley. There's a clean point for the Big Reds. Cameron McDonald, such a weapon offensively. Pick it out. Caitlin Reed up there with Scott and McDonald. Received by Williams. Williams. Scott received it, kind of handcuffed her. Good captainship there by Brianna Janord. Kind of positioned Scott. Janord goes down, receives it. Doherty, Scott with the fingertips. Janord again with the bump. 
Overpass committed by the Red Hawks. Chippewa Valley couldn't take advantage. Doherty to McDonald, double block. Sprawling effort made by Williams. Sent over once again by Port Huron. Doherty again for McDonald, block. Terrific defense there by Port Huron. And that gets a rise out of the Red Hawks. Five one, poor Huron in front. And service error against poor Huron. Quite a few members of the Mac Red Championship football team in attendance here tonight. Quarterback Andrew Schuster, Sean Lanier, terrific wide receiver. Devontae Love here as well, offensive lineman. I think I even see Cash Shaw, the running back, down there, urging on the Big Reds here tonight. Chippewa Valley wrapping up their regular season schedule against Warren Mott this week, and then they're going to take on a team from Canada in Bear Creek. Last week of the regular season, that'll be a game you'll see right here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. If you want to see your Big Reds in action all season long, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chippewa Valley Cable Sports. We'll have one other Chippewa Valley Volleyball match this season. And that'll be the contest against Port Huron Northern on October 24th. Just a few more matches remaining for Chippewa Valley. The next upcoming game will be on the road against St. Clair on October 17th. Janort sends it over with her left hand. Free ball now for Port Huron. Double block. Chippewa Valley without the services tonight of Sophia Bile and Ava Toomey. Another overpass. They got to get this one over. Janort calls for it and sends it out. An ace. Here on taking a little bit of a commanding lead here in the second set. 9 4 our score. Just four seniors on this varsity roster for Port Huron. Got a sophomore captain in Mullins. And Scott gets a kill. Sienna Dennis, who's gotten a lot of playing time as a freshman. Reagan Leslie, the only underclassman for head coach Chris Hull. Five seniors, six returners for the Big Reds. And there's Sienna Dennis, the fabulous freshman. Isabel Trombley, senior. She picked up some service points in the first set. Doherty to Scott, to the back row, dug up by Milliton. And that was on the outside of the antenna. So point to Chippewa Valley. Megan Pickett. Big Reds, 87% service 
percentage, 195 aces to go along with 191 errors. And Big Red's able to get back defensively. Thought they might have been caught out of position there momentarily. Back line, it really approached up. And that ball was tipped by the front row. So now the Red Hawks have doubled up the Big Reds. We'll get a timeout called. 12-6, Port Huron in front of Chippewa Valley. So we mentioned Big Reds have that matchup coming up on the road against St. Clair, and as well as the home contest senior night against Port Huron Northern, a game we'll have covered right here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. If you're a fan of Port Huron, their remaining schedule looks like this. Warren Woods Tower at home on October 17th. And then that big road contest with Lakeview on October 24th before wrapping up the regular season with Marine City on October 26th. We'll dive a little bit deeper into district play. We'll talk about potential matchups. We know the first round matchups at the very least. We'll talk about that district play a little bit later on in tonight's broadcast. 12 to 6 our score, Port Huron in front. Second set, Chippewa Valley claimed the first, 26-24 the final in that one. Bryn Mullins to serve. Leslie, overpass. Leah Creech with the overpass kill. So it'll be Janora, the libero. Flat-footed, left-handed swing. Coming near side block. Oh, kept alive with the forearm there by Williams. Now McDonald gets it down. Nord. And Chippewa Valley that time certainly caught out of position. Doherty sends it over on two. Huller. Uh oh. McDonald is caught in a tough situation there, kind of directly underneath the net. She tried to play it backwards, but was too strong and sent it way out of reach of a teammate. Murdick, received by Dunn. Somehow, someway, Trombley was able to save that and get out of the way. She saves it again, but the kill is gonna go to Cameron McDonald. McDonald is such a force. And even that is an understatement. Chippewa Valley trails by five, 14-9, Doherty, ace. That was her fastball. Big jump serve. Got to time those just right, and she did. You can see the, the big leaping start she gets. She starts all the way on the baseline of the basketball floor. Somehow, Murdick was able to come away with that one. Digging it up along the floor. And Delaney to pose the line. And an error there by Huller. Back to back points off the serve of Delaney Doherty. See this time by Williams. 
Kept alive one-handed by McDonald. Sent to the outside where Caitlin Reed's camped out. And ends the call. That must have barely touched the line. Huller, Doherty, Janord. One hand saved by Murdoch. Pushed across. And violation, double hit. Coach Hull mentioning the ball spinning. Doherty with the save. Janord has to get it across, she does. Free ball now for the Red Hawks. Double block, they got it. No, they didn't get it down. Six point lead for the Red Hawks. They try to work themselves back into this match. Drop the first set. Doherty to the outside. Bombs away. drive serve and double block comes up empty it was McDonald and Scott that went up couldn't come down with it quick serve there by Port Huron and Chippewa Valley gonna take a timeout Mentioned Port here on winners of five straight. Their most recent win was a straight set win over Lakeshore. Other standings within the Macomb Area Conference. Marysville half game lead in the Mac Red. Gross Point South has already claimed the white division crown. Blue, Port Huron obviously out in front. We already mentioned that. In the gold, it's a tie between Marine City and Lance Cruz for first place. Silver Division, Lamphere in Cruz control. Two-game lead over New Haven and Warren Mott. And in the bronze, it's Hazel Park off to a perfect 7-0 league mark. Two games in front of Warren Fitzgerald. 18-13 our score. Red Hawks in front of the Big Reds here in set number two. Chippewa Valley now has used both of their second set timeouts. Hammer and McDonald received by Mullins Libero. McDonald to Scott. And it's gonna be a lot of work to save it. Bodies hit the floor. Can't fault the Port Huron effort there, but it's a point for Chippewa Valley. McDonald, deep to Mullins. And too much power beyond that swing of Dennis. All of a sudden now, Chippewa Valley's scoring in bunches and pulled within three. And have come out of this timeout looking like a different team. And point to the Big Reds, double hit. Bit of a carry there.
big kill. Scott. Tim. The double block works this time. Leslie and Reed. Oh boy. That was like an off-speed pitch. Janord to Scott. Scott skies. Done. Send it out of bounds. Trombley in for Balon. Saved by Scott. Janord digs it up. Doherty to Scott. Done. Doherty on two. Free ball here for the Red Hawks. Saved one handed. Got to get this over the net. They do. Back-to-back -back free balls for the Red Hawks. Doherty out of bounds. Line driving serve out of bounds. And line violation. Doherty, Janord to the back row. Defense by the Big Reds. And a little jousting going on. And it's Leah Creech. Janord. That Southpaw serve. Out. Eliana Williams thought she had a point. Out the call. Big Reds within three. Trail 23-20. The old campfire ball. Everyone from Chippewa Valley gathered around. Nobody could play it. Set point coming up for Port Huron. Looking to get back and tie things up at one set apiece. Jim grows quiet. Doherty keeps it alive. McDonald pushes it across. Free ball for Port Huron. Huller. 
McDonald. Terrific effort by Dunn, and point to the Red Hawks. They storm back and take set number two by the final score of 25-20. And they have officially drawn even with the Big Reds. Third set coming up next after this brief timeout. Parents, many teens mistakenly believe that the THC in marijuana is a safe drug. They don't know today's marijuana is a highly potent drug and that using it can result in harm to the developing brain, learning problems, anxiety and depression, and can lead to addiction. Talk with your child or teen about the dangers of marijuana use. If you don't talk with them, who will? Third set coming up here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. Brad Fetters coming to you tonight from Chippewa Valley High School. One set apiece between the Chippewa Valley Big Reds and the Port here on Red Hawks. Everything we hope for and more tonight in this Mac Blue matchup between the league's top team, Port here on Red Hawks. And the team that's following them directly in the standings, the Chippewa Valley Big Reds. Mentioned it throughout tonight's broadcast. And Chippewa Valley needs a victory here tonight to keep their Mac Blue title hopes alive. The let there off the top tape. And it bounces over the net. Tough one there on the ace. Addison Murdoch. A little scramble drill here for Chippewa Valley. Able to recover. Block up front. Reed and McDonald. That top two in front. Terrific one two punch. And this time we get the let, but it doesn't bounce over the net. So both times the top tape has played the role of spoiler for the Big Reds. Two teams had an epic five set duel last time they hooked up. Back on September 14th, that night on their home floor went the way of Port Huron. Cameron McDonald and the rest of this Chippewa Valley team looking to play the role of spoiler here tonight on their home floor. Well needed break for Brianna Janord. And an ace. Gonna be a tough play. Overpass. Huller. Perfectly placed ball. That Bermuda Triangle where the end line and the sideline converge. What a kill. Nothing Janord could do there. <laughs> 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 
Milliton. Four for our score. Mullins with the bump. Set from Doherty. Scott with the big swing. Done. It's been all over the floor tonight for Chippewa Valley. And point to the Big Reds. Double hit. Joust that time, won by the Big Reds. Nope, check that Red Hawks. Sienna Dennis. <laughs> Doherty comes near side. Big swing, done. Doherty. Trombley was somehow able to stick her arm out. And too much. Too much firepower there. Give Trombley the star on that last rally. Now she sends over a hard one. Dunn able to receive it. And then an attack error. Megan Pickett didn't get everything on that shot. 7-5 Red Hawks. Janord received there by Milliton. Two nines trading shots. They go to the outside. And out. Boy, this third set really has been a seesaw. Back and forth we go. Neither team taking a strangle hold on it. Janord will serve. Received by Mullins. And back to back shots there. Camadet couldn't tuck him in the end line. Janord to the near side, Leslie. Feather went wide. And tipped out of bounds by Chippewa Valley. Doherty, overpass kill. Read in. Gives Chippewa Valley that dynamic duo up front of McDonald and Reed. Reagan Leslie up front too. Gives Chippewa Valley all kinds of size up front. Truly a size advantage right now for Chippewa Valley. Can they utilize it? Miscommunication perhaps there. Chippewa Valley was really out of sorts. McDonald kind of spun and went towards the middle of the floor. Ball was received by Pickett and nobody was in the area for the set. 
Cross court shot. Free ball now for Chippewa Valley. Doherty with the set to McDonald. Did she get it in? No. Mullins. Oh, there's the block. There's the size advantage coming into play. Leslie. Perfectly placed kill for the Red Ox. Three point lead now for Port Huron. With a little mini bounces, a spin, and Fiedler will send it on. Scott up to Doherty. Doherty back to Scott, a little give and go. Fiedler. Over to Huller. Doherty gonna go far side this time. A little touch shot. And Huller, well placed ball. No man's land. Doherty. Goes back with it. Oh, what a well-placed ball this time by Caitlin Reed. McDonald, ace. Knocked down Murdoch. Ace. Big Reds inching closer, trail by two. And service error. Janord, talk about a dig, went down to the floor to get that one. And now the block is out. And I don't know, that sure looked like it went off the top tape. Leah Creech was the big red closest to the ball. She's acting like she didn't touch it. That ball might have been rejected by the top tape. Creech shakes her head. Nope, didn't touch it. And it'll be a redo. Janord, Doherty, Scott, played by Williams, Huller, Doherty calls for it, makes the play to the back row, Janord into the net. Tough break there for the Big Reds. Free ball for the Red Hawks. Oh, they didn't play it. Murdoch was there, elected not to play it, and it dropped down in play. Point for the Big Reds. Bit of a break there, perhaps. And this one's deep. 
Back-to-back -back points for Chippewa Valley. Trail 15-13, third set. Scott with the point. A little dance. A little shimmy. Rache Scott, the junior, starting to feel herself. Free ball for Chippewa Valley. Double hit. Munforce airs out of the Big Reds here tonight. Gwen Camendet into the game. Scott. There's a kill. Megan Pickett has tied the score. 16-16, crunch time now in this third set. Double block, oh boy. Leslie and Creech combined forces. Chippewa Valley, all kinds of momentum now. This is deep. Played though. I don't know. That might have been out. And this ain't going to get over. Militant might have wanted to let that initial serve go. And now Port Huron's going to use their final timeout of this third set. Well, let's dive a little deeper into district play. Our Chippewa Valley Big Reds will play out of a district over at Dakota. And we'll take on Utica in the semifinals. Lance Cruz and Dakota will take on each other in the first round. The winner of that game will take on Lance Cruz North in the other district semifinal. Utica playing out of the Mac White this season has a 2-5 and five record in league play. So a very winnable contest there for Chippewa Valley in their semifinal out of the Dakota District. The game against Utica will take place on November 1st. We'll talk about the Port Huron District during our next break in the action. That's a tough, tough set there by Doherty. Some jousting, good rally now. Doherty sends it over on two. Tried to sneak one across. Back row, bump. Outside hit, cross court, up into the rafters. Right in front of the port here on bench. Doherty goes over quickly. Tried to catch the Red Hawks napping and instead they come away with the kill. Nice little rally. However, a point to Port Huron. Eighteen seventeen home team. Low line driving serve, dug up by Dunn. Doherty goes back with it, back line attack. Sent up high into the air and sent over now by Trombley. Doherty, middle hit, getting out of the way of it. And an error by the freshman Dennis. Two point lead, you like that little bit of separation. 
by the Big Reds. It'll be Brianna Genord. She's lethal with the ball in her hand. This is a good server. Received by Mullins. And ball spins off the top tape and down. Derek Arena trying to urge his girls on. Mullins. Service air. Boy, oh boy, that, that just hung up there seemingly forever and ultimately fell on the Red Hawks side. Caitlin Reed in. Provides that height advantage now for the Big Reds. The big wind up serving the ace. I don't know, Trombley might have been better off letting that one go. Doherty. This time, Trombley goes down to dig it. This time, it's set too long. Four point lead for the Big Reds. No timeouts left for Port Huron. They can't squash this momentum that Chippewa Valley's gained. Chris Hull, head coach of Chippewa Valley, liking what he sees. Doherty again sends it in deep. Trombley. That's a big point right there for Port Huron. They get the side out. They're gonna bring in a couple new fresh faces. Elena Huller in, along with Addison Murdoch. Murdoch, received by Pickett. Off the head there, that went off the head. That's gotta be played over. Oh, that was a carry. That was a double hit, no call. McDonald. Ball doesn't lie. McDonald just energizes this gym. Maybe a little bit too much energy on that serve. And everybody, take a deep breath. Fiedler, received by Scott, sent to the outside. Free ball now for Port Huron. Nope, no need to. Sent long. Fiedler, low line driving serve. Received by Scott, too strong. Janord, it's Doherty, gotta send it over. Free ball now for the Red Hawks. Doherty with the dig, Janord with the bump. Scott, Mullins, far side. Scott tips it up, Doherty sends it over on two. Out. And now Coach Hall wants a timeout. Tied up at 23 apiece. All important third set. So we said we'd talk about Port Huron's district. It's gonna be played at Romeo. And Port Huron will have a first round matchup with Oxford. The whole school Romeo will take on Le, uh, Lapeer. Anchor Bay awaits the winner of Port Huron Oxford and Port Huron Northern awaits the winner of Romeo and Lapeer. So Port Huron Oxford, the very first round matchup. And that game will take place on October 30th at Romeo. So if you're marking things down on your calendar, October 30th, Port Huron and Oxford. 
winner will square off with Anchor Bay in the district semifinals. So it's Anchor Bay and Port here on Northern getting the buys in that district. So here we go, 23-23, set number three. Tied up at a set apiece. Addison Fiedler. Doherty for McDonald blocked. Not much the Big Reds could do there. It was a perfect set by Doherty. Got it in your best attacker's hands. And somehow poor Huron was able to block it. Set point. High arcing serve. Doherty's got to go and get it. Sent over by Reed. Oh, boy. Misplay. Side out. Serve over to Cameron McDonald. Cannot stress enough how evenly matched these two teams are. Line violation against Chippewa Valley. Set point number two now for Port Huron. Free ball for the Red Hawks. And point to Port Huron. Back to back set wins. They are a set away from victory here tonight and at least a co-share of the Mac Blue title. Set number four coming up next right here on Chippewa Valley Cable Television. Parents, your children's brains are still developing. The brains of children and teens continue to develop until they are in their mid-20s and can be damaged if they use alcohol, marijuana, vape products, or other drugs. Damage can include lifelong problems with memory, learning, behavior, and can result in addiction. Talk early and talk often to your children and teens about these dangers. This message is from the Chippewa Valley Coalition for Youth and Family. Or here on his taking the floor, Chippewa Valley using all of their time in between sets to talk things over. Port Huron, two sets to one lead. After dropping the opening set to Chippewa Valley 26-24, they have roared back and have taken the next two by the final scores of 25-20 and Big red serve to start this fourth set. And Delaney Doherty. And service error. ball from the back line. Oh. And sent too far and out. <laughs> Jousting for it, McDonald sends it across. 
Huller. And Delaney Doherty comes up from the back row. That ball went up straight up in the air and came down. Another campfire ball. Huller. Reed. I don't know if Reed needed to play that or not, but she did. And then Scott comes up, sends it into the net. Cross court shot sails out of bounds. That's going to be an ace for Port Huron. McDonald skies, pains, and hits. She just has another gear. It's really impressive. And now an ace for McDonald. She gets a big kill, and now the ace. from the outside. Chippewa Valley in front, 5-4. And a block by Scott. was there for Port Huron. And nobody went for it for Chippewa Valley. Sienna Dennis again from the middle. Dennis has been good when called upon. She hasn't been, she's kind of been sort of in and out of the lineup. Hasn't really seen a lot of steady doses of her tonight. There's that Doherty patented two. Saved by Doherty. Somehow was able to tuck it inside the antenna. This time Doherty goes down to the floor to make the play. Unbelievable effort, A plus effort. But poor Huron still comes away with the point. 6-6. Six, six. This is playable. No, they're gonna say line violation. Oh no. Front line will clear the way here for Chippewa Valley. Dunn, check that Reed receives. Gonna go far side. 
Scott, just off the top tape. Kamendot. Swing and kill. Leah Creech, 7 all. Service error. Energy in this gym has changed drastically. And both teams realizing how important this four set is. Port Huron can win it. Chibwa Valley trying to force a fifth and final set. Done to Doherty. And Scott throws it into the net. Delaney Doherty doing some coaching on the floor. Janord receives. Scott's got to play it free ball now for the Red Hawks. Middle hit. Nice dig. Scott into the net once again. Scott, second chance. Nope, double hit. And finally, Chippewa Valley with the momentum killer. for it. A lot of time spent on top of that net. And there's the kill. Regan Leslie. First contest went five. Would only be fitting if this one went five as well. Received by Trombley to the outside. Handcuffed, tie score, 10-10. Megan Pickett with the serve. Pushed across. The outside, one-handed stuff. Chippewa Valley tried the block, came away empty. Bryn Mullins, line drive, Doherty. Leslie with the kill. Nice little rally going back and forth. And finally, the air on the attack. Big Reds in front, 12-11. This is one of those don't blink, don't flinch. Last woman standing type sets. Thank you, 
Port here. I'm going to take a timeout. So other matchups taking place tonight. St. Clair at Port here on Northern. That's a game of note in the Mac Blue. St. Clair looking for their very first Mac Blue victory of the season. And Mac White play tonight. It's Henry Ford the second at Stevenson. And the Utica Chieftains on the road taking on Gross Point North. As I mentioned, Gross Point South has already captured the Mac White. Marysville has a half game lead right now on Lance Cruz North. Marysville picked up a straight sets victory a couple nights ago over Dakota. And Lance Cruz North picked up a straight sets victory over Romeo last night. So that one will more than likely come to the second matchup between Marysville and Lance Cruz North. Down over on two. Sort of looked like a double hit. And boy, oh boy. Red Hawks, did they touch it? Yes, they did. a double hit. Back to back points for the Big Reds. And it's Port here on it answers right back. Williams. calls for it. Thrown across by Williams and down. Williams with two straight points. Lefty Murdoch. Doherty sends it across. Williams again. McDonald, difference maker. Three point lead for the Big Reds, 16 13. Doherty, that big serve. Fiedler with the set, near side, Reagan Leslie. Big Reds have answered the bell in this four set, trying to keep their Mac Blue title hopes alive. Important victory over Lakeview. Kept them in the fight. Going to need some help. Or here and is yet to lose in league play. Color shot return to sender. Okay, 
Leslie with Doherty and Janord in the back line. McDonald, Scott, and Dunn up front. And it's McDonald again with the block. Cameron McDonald, player of the match so far. That fastball sails long. Wasting no time, Williams. 19-15, Scott, cross court. Huller, Doherty digs it. Double hit the call against Port Huron, and now the Port Huron sideline in disbelief. And Port Huron's gonna want a timeout. Coach Derek Arena spent the first 15 seconds of that timeout staring down the up official. You're not going to get that call changed. The Big Reds in front of the Red Hawks 2015. And Chippewa Valley's starting to feel it. They're kind of dancing around in that huddle. Five points away from sending it to a fifth and final set. Timeout is over. Back to live action. And a quick point to Chippewa Valley, I believe. And they're going to change this call. And that ball never made it over the net, I don't think, to be touched by Chippewa Valley. And perhaps a little bit of a makeup call. Chloe Milliton. That ball clearly touched last by the Red Hawks. Dunn slashes at it. Kamendot. And double hit committed by Chippewa Valley. Service here. Twenty two seventeen. This is going to be a tough play, and Port Huron's able to make it.
What a well-placed ball. Reagan Leslie hung up seemingly forever. Was able to pick her spot and execute. Janord needs two more points to force a fifth set. And changed direction because the ball was tipped. Side out. There we go. Leslie making her presence known here in this fourth set. Set point. And it's got to be Delaney Doherty to take it. Janord with the one hand save, tapped outside the antenna. All right, 24 20. Rylan Balin in. Fiedler to serve. Delaney, McDonald just out. McDonald again, gets that mulligan. Huller, blocked by McDonald! <laughs> so, for the second time this season, these two teams will play a five-setter. The only Mac blue team to take Port here on to a fifth set. 25-21 our final here in the fourth. The fifth and final set coming up next right here on CBC TV. This is a message to raise awareness of the dangers of youth use of alcohol and other drugs. These are some facts about youth prescription opioid medication misuse from the National Institute on Drug Abuse. Teen abuse of prescription opioid medications has declined steadily over past years. However, young adults, 18 to 24, are the largest group abusing prescription medication, including opioids, medications prescribed for ADHD, and anti-anxiety medication. Those that abuse prescription opioids are at greater risk of becoming addicted, of negative life and health consequences, of overdose, and death. Prescription opioids are chemically related to heroin. Nearly 80% of people addicted to heroin started first by abusing opioid medications. Teens that misuse prescription medication get it from their friends, from unsecured medication at their home, or from the home of a relative. Lock up properly dispose, and never share medication. For more information on the abuse of opioid medication, visit drugabuse.gov. Fifth and final set, Chippewa Valley Big Reds, Port here on Red Hawks, girls varsity volleyball, Mac Blue. An opportunity tonight for Port here on to capture at least a share of the league title. Chippewa Valley trying to play spoiler while trying to remain in the race themselves. Fifth set, a race to 15. Janord McDonald with the tap across. Huller goes down and gets it. Doherty couldn't control it. Point to the Red Hawks.
Doherty. Huller swings. Doherty from the back row. Dunn sends it across. Played there by Fiedler. Huller shot too long. 1-1 one, our -one score. Talked about the race to 15. You still got to win by two. Leslie Doherty Janord in the back row. Scott McDonald Dunn in the front. Huller. Point. Four hits. Two one Chippewa Valley. Sneak attack there for the Red Hawks. Deuces, 2-2. Two -two. Janord up to Doherty. McDonald, look out below. An absolute cannon. Too long. Every point so important. That was a hard one. Doherty tried to send it over on two. Didn't catch. Port here on Knappen. Service error ties us up at four. Chloe Milliton. Soft one, Delaney. Point to Creech. Doherty. Shenord with the save. Doherty near side. Mullins the libero. Blocked. Unable to keep it in. Back and forth we go. That absolutely handcuffed it done. That was a hard serve off of Trombley's hand. Short set, and a shot that sent wide. Cameron McDonald back in, that's a vital piece to not only the defense of that front line, but the offense as well. This has to be played across, it will be. Free ball now for the Big Reds. Doherty to McDonald. And you can hear that ball slap. I don't think McDonald got all of it. Mullins. Doherty 
Back row, Janord. Good joust. Janord straight up in the air. For Leslie. Seven, six. It'll be Doherty, the dynamite server. See by Trombley. Doherty, it's going to be a tough play. Over to McDonald. 7-7. Seven, seven. Neither team able to get any separation here in this fifth set. Unbelievable how evenly matched these two teams are. Leaving it all on the floor tonight. Murdoch. See by Dunn. McDonald's shot blocked. Delaney over to Dunn. Dunn to the back row. Murdoch over to Huller. Huller blocked. Dunn. And it's Port Huron that's first to get halfway there. Double hit. Two point advantage for the Red Hawks. Timeout called by Chippewa Valley. Chippewa Valley claimed the first set, 26 24. Then watch Port Huron come storming right back. The so Red Hawks took the second and third sets by the score of 25-20, 26-24. But it was Chippewa Valley that forced this all or nothing fifth set as they took claim to the fourth set by the final score of 25-21. Sort of has the opposite feel of the last encounter. That one, Port Huron took sets one, four, and five. Taking that fifth set in extra is 18, 16. McDonald, two-hand shove across. Huller, Doherty, Dunn to the back row. A little touch shot by Williams. Janord from the back row. Two players converge. This has to be hit across. Free ball now for Chippewa Valley. McDonald on the line. Line judge right there, called it in. Nobody home, Huller touched it. Ace, 9-9. Nine, nine. Leslie, Doherty, Janor, Dunn, Scott McDonald on the floor for the Big Reds. Leslie, far corner. Sent straight up into the air. Huller. Doherty sends it over on two. Close to the net. Saved by Doherty. Sent in deep. Janord goes after it. Doherty bumps it up. Scott. Cross court shot. Huller shot is tipped and touched. Out. No, they're going to say it wasn't touched. Point to the big reds. 10-9, Chippewa Valley. The way that ball changed directions, I thought it was tipped. Yeah. 
Sent in deep. Huller, Janord, Doherty will bump it to McDowell. Little touch shot. Oh, what a beautiful play. I think McDonald even caught herself by surprise. 11-9. Ah, too, too much that time. Williams with the big blast. All right, 11-10. Fiedler, Janord high in the air. Three ball for the Red Hawks. Back to back points for Williams. Red Hawks come swooping right back in. Neither team willing to give in here tonight. Doherty, McDonald, oh yes, oh yeah. Leah Creech in, replaces Janord. How long does Janord sit? And service error, boy oh boy. Big Reds not making anything easy for themselves here tonight. Ileana Williams, service error, back-to-back -back errors. Here we go. Big Reds within two points of staking claim to a huge victory here tonight on their home floor. A little come from behind victory, perhaps. Done. Soft high one. Dug up. Scott into the net. Chippewa Valley to take the timeout. They'll be on the receiving end of a serve coming up. 13 13, our score. Fifth set. Looked like Chippewa Valley was in firm control of it. And a couple unforced errors have tied us back up at 13 apiece. Poor Huron team has not found themselves in many of these situations. They did, however, find themselves in this situation the last time they played the Big Reds. And they somehow found a way to win the fifth set on that night, 18-16. 13-13 our score. Creech, Doherty, Scott along the front line. Dunn, Janord, and Leslie along the back line. Doherty snuck it in! She went behind her head! That's her patented play. Go over on two, and she somehow got it up and over her head. That one will be talked about tomorrow in the halls of Chippewa Valley. Dennis, the freshman, 14-14. Trombley, she's got a hard serve. Sometimes it's hard to handle. Didn't get all of it. Doherty to the outside for Leslie. Leslie with the point. Set point 
And it'll be Janord to serve. Janord, a couple shakes to the head, a deep breath. Dribbles the basketball, now spins it. Received by Militant. To the outside, blocked momentarily. Has to be played over. Free ball for the Red Hawks. Touch shot, sent back over by McDonald. To the outside, Janord. Game point. Off the top of the tape, Delaney Doherty joust. What a, what a rally here. And sent out. Fifteen, fifteen. Red Hawks serve. Mullins. Man, oh man, this gymnasium was ready to explode. It's gonna be a tough play. Done. Calm, cool, and collected. Free ball for Port Huron. This one's sent towards the net. And out. Game point. Doherty with the serve. Received by Trombley. Sent across, block, and it's McDonald with the game winner. A come from behind victory tonight by the Chippewa Valley Big Reds. They improve their Mac Blue record to six and two. Port Huron falls to seven and one. Chippewa Valley just one game behind. The Red Hawks now for first place. As is Cameron McDonald with the game winner. Chippewa Valley takes it 26-24, 20-25, 24-26, 25-21, and 17-15 in the fifth and final set. A come from behind victory tonight by the Big Reds. Thanks in large part to Cameron McDonald. It's only fitting. She scores the game winner here tonight for our hardworking CVC TV crew, including Matthew Custer and Joe Chapel, our cameraman tonight. I'm Brad Fetter saying goodnight. One final time from the Valley once again. The Chippewa Valley Big Reds take it. Three sets to two over the port here on Red Hawks. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on CVC TV.